Winter is an amazing season with quite a variety of weather, both at the ground and in the air. But one common wintertime phenomenon stands out above the rest. In this video, we examine the science behind it and provide answers to the question, what are light pillars? A light pillar is classified as an atmospheric optical phenomenon, which is characterized by a vertical beam of light which extends above or below a light source. The light pillar phenomenon is caused by ice crystals suspended in the atmosphere, whether it's in the form of high-level clouds such as cirrus clouds, or maybe even ice crystals suspended lower in the air, as you see sometimes in very cold winter time conditions. The type of ice crystal that's most commonly associated with the light pillar phenomenon is called a hexagonal platelet and that's because it is a plate with hexagonal symmetry. This crystal form usually grows by vapor deposition at temperatures between negative 8 and negative 25 degrees Celsius. In a special range of temperatures between negative 12 and negative 16 degrees Celsius, as the ice crystals grow and attain a higher fall velocity, if the atmospheric saturation is right, we can see these hexagonal platelets grow arms out from the sides, which become what we most commonly associate with snowflakes, the dendrite. In the case of light pillars, these hexagonal platelets are flat and they act like mirrors to interact with light and reflect it upward or downward. They tend to orient themselves more or less horizontally as they fall through the air. With each flake acting like a tiny mirror to reflect the light through the atmosphere and create this amazing beam of light, the higher concentration of ice crystals we have, and the bigger they are, the more pronounced we get the phenomenon. You may see the light pillar phenomenon associated with artificial lights, such as with tall beams, but this phenomenon also exists in a form where it extends from the sun, which is called a sun pillar or solar pillar. Light pillars can also be caused by the moon, but this is less common. In very cold weather, there can be a high concentration of these ice crystals in low levels of the atmosphere, and that's why you often see this phenomenon mostly during the winter time when it comes to low-level artificial lights. Solar pillars can be seen at different times of the year, but are most common, again, when high-level clouds are present, cirrus clouds, because they contain a high concentration of crystals. But unlike a beam of light, a light pillar is not actually physically located above the light source. This is just an optical illusion, resulting from the collective reflection off the ice crystals toward the viewer. Although the light pillar phenomenon can be observed with different kinds of ice crystals, such as hexagonal columns or droxtals, the hexagonal platelets are the most prolific because they result in a mirror-like surface, which reflect the light very efficiently. So whether it's the heart of winter, spring, or even fall, always keep your eye to the sky. You might just see something interesting.